this chapter is called No Such Thing. In the last chapter, um, if you remember, Bean was sneaky. It was called Sneaky Bean because she cut some of Nancy's hair for their potion. So this one's called No Such Thing. Food coloring didn't change the magic of a potion. It just made it look better. Most potions Ivy had learned came out greenish brown. Sometimes they were pinkish brown, which was even worse. So Ivy fixed them up with food coloring. Wow, said Bean when she saw the thick blue liquid in Ivy's jar. That's really blue. How much did you put in? Almost the whole thingy. Doesn't your mom get mad when you do that, asked Bean? But she knew the answer. Ivy's mom didn't get mad about using things up. She got mad about messes. All parents were different. Did you get the hair, Ivy asked? Yeah, Bean pulled a plastic bag out of her pocket. It's just little bits. She didn't even notice. Even though that's what Bean wanted, she was still disappointed. Ivy understood. Maybe she'll notice later. The two girls crouched down and carefully added the bits of hair to the jar. After they put the lid back on, they took turns shaking the jar until the hair was mixed in. Then Ivy did, whispered some magic words while Bean plugged her ears. Even with the oath of liquids, Bean wasn't supposed to hear Ivy's magic words. When she was done, Ivy put the jar in her backpack. The girls started walking to school. Did you bring a present for the ghost? Ivy asked. I'm going to give it my half dollar, said Bean, showing the bright silver coin. What about you? I brought one of my fossils, the shell one. So there's the half dollar and the fossil. That's a good present for a ghost. Fossils and ghosts were both leftover dead things. When the girls got to Emerson's school, Leo was waiting for them. Are you guys still going to expel the ghost, he asked. Of course, we made a potion, said Bean. Leo shook his head. You guys are nuts, he said. But then he asked, what's in it? Secret, said Bean. All we can tell you is that this coat potion is very powerful, said Ivy in a mysterious voice. At lunch recess, the ghost will be expelled, never to return. Leo dropped his ball and gave it a soft kick. I'll help if you want. By morning recess, all the kids in the second grade knew that Ivy and Bean were going to expel the ghost at lunch. Everyone gathered around the play structure again. Ms. Rubitate said you weren't supposed to talk about the ghost anymore, Ivy, said Zuzu. She snapped the waist of her skirt. That's not, ex that's not what she said, Ivy said. She said she expected that she wouldn't hear any more nonsense about a ghost in the bathroom. And that's not going to happen because we're going to expel it with our potion, added Bean. That's why we're doing it, said Ivy, for Miseruba Tate. If it was just us, we wouldn't. We don't mind it. My uncle knows a guy who saw a ghost, and his hair turned white in one second, said Eric. Ghosts are dead, said Drew. They're going to eat your brains. Ivy and Bean rolled their eyes. That's zombie, said Bean. The ghost was here first, Ivy said, trying to be patient. The school invaded its resting place. We have to send it back to its grave, but we're going to give it presents like the Egyptians did with their dead people. It's going to be a ceremony. Zuzu snapped her waistband again and said, well, I don't believe in ghosts and I'm going to tell Ms. Rubitate what you're doing. And she turned toward the classroom. Uh-oh, thought Bean, trouble. Halt, said Ivy's voice louder than anyone, but Bean had ever heard it. Zuzu halted. Ivy glared at Zuzu. You have insulted the ghost of Emerson School. The ghost is now your enemy. Zuzu's face got bright pink. No, it's not. There's no such thing as ghosts. Quickly, before Ivy could get really mad, Bean said, Don't worry, Zuzu. We're going to expel the ghost. We've got a potion. I'm not worried, Zuzu said in a high voice. But she said it was my enemy and she's not supposed to talk like that. It's not your enemy, I promise, said Bean firmly. She was just kidding. She looked hard at Ivy. Ivy smiled sweetly. But if you want to make extra sure, you could give it a present too, just to be on the safe side. What, said Zuzu? You could give the ghost a present, said Ivy, for it, for it to carry to the grave, just in case there is such a thing as ghosts. Zuzu stared at Ivy. I don't want a present, or I don't have a present. Ivy looked 
over, her over. That hair clip is nice, she said. Zuzu thought for a moment, and then she unhooked the pink butterfly hair clip. You can have it. I have lots better ones at home, she said, giving it to Ivy. I'm sure the ghost will like it a lot, even if it doesn't have any hair, said Bean. It can use it for a decoration, said Ivy. And the bell rang. So there's Zuzu getting her hair clip for the ghost. And that was the end of that chapter. Next chapter is called In the Haunted Bathroom.